Hello guys welcome to my this video my name is Anirudh and today in this OFD designing tutorial I will show you how to make a price section design. So here you can see I have added the three price items and the middle one I have added the recommended one and here I have added the three buttons and on the hover of the button here you can see the animation and here I have added this one responsive too. So if I come to the lower viewport so in the desktop it is displaying three items but here if I come to the mobile viewport or tab viewport so see in the tab viewport it is coming two item on the top and the last item on the bottom but it is not coming from the left side the, I mean the last item it is coming on the middle and if I go to the mobile viewport so that time here you can see it's coming all the item one by one okay this one I have added the responsive so if you want to learn how to make this one so you can watch this video and don't skip this video now I will move to the visual studio code editor and I will start to write the code so guys here I have opened index.html file and style.css file this is external css file so I have linked here for this and this one is the bootstrap cdn link okay so here I will provide the link in description and now I will start to write the code inside this body tag. So inside this body tag, first of all, I will create a section. So section and class name here, I will write price main. By this class name, you can write as per your choice. And inside this one here, I will create another deep tag and the class name I will write container. This is bootstrap class. So this class name you cannot change. Okay, here you have to write the same class name that is container. And after that here, I will create the grid. So first of all, I will write deep class row and inside this row here, I will write deep class and call md4 and call sm is 6 and call access is 12 okay so if you don't know this one so now i will explain so call md means when it will be the desktop so that time it will show the three price items when it will be the tap sm means tap so it will show the two price items because six and six and when it will be the mobile device so that time it will show only one price item because grid we can divide up to 12 so 12 means it will only one six means it will two because six plus six and four means it is three because four into three it is 12 okay and now here just i will create another class that is deep class and the class name is price box this is not a bootstrap class so that means you can write any name as per your choice this class name now inside this price box class here i will create another deep and now I will write the class name is price head and now here just I will write a p tag and inside this p tag I will write on content content it can be as per your project so here I will write the content name is monthly plan okay and here I will write deep class class name is price and inside this price I will create a span tag class name is first of all currency okay inside this currency class here i will create dollar and after that same way i will create another span tag but the class name i will just change the class name here i will write value and inside this value class here i will provide the value means the price so this is okay and now here i will create another span tag so the class name here i will write duration so here duration i will write slash and mo mo is for month okay because here i'm creating for the monthly plan okay i hope it is clear and now here this price head class is closing here see so just below this one here i will write deep class and the class name here i will write price body and inside this price body class just here i will write another deep class and the class name is price body top contents price hyphen body hyphen top hyphen content okay so now just inside this here i will write p and the class class name here i will write build okay so here i will write build dollar six point nine nine and monthly okay 
just I will do save. So, here you can see the reflection and after that here just I will write another p tag. So, p class and the class name here I will write save. Okay. And here I will write save 40 2% by the class name and the content you can write as per your choice which one is not a bootstrap class so those class name you can write as per your choice and content you have to write as per your project content okay so now just here see this price body top content class it's closing here okay so just below this one here I will write another deep class Okay, sorry, I don't need to write the deep class only directly. I can write the you will. Okay, so you will, and here I will write li. Okay, so now here just I will write the content. So content will be anything. Okay, get start risk free. So is I will make it small letter. So risk free with our 30 day okay this is one content and i will write another li tag here and here i will write another content that is monthly so this content is done so now you will find it will look like this okay so after that just here i will create a anchor tag so see the price body tag it's closing here okay so now just here okay the here i will create one anchor tag so a first of all then h r e f okay here i will write price dot html by the way in which page you want to link here you can add this class, uh, page name okay so here inside this anchor tag the button name is start now and now you will find it it, it will create a one button okay so now after that just here i have to create a svg by the way you can add here the icon also so here i already added one svg okay so this thing you will get in google otherwise i will provide this thing in description okay so here i am using svg instead of icon because this svg it's a lightweight right so that's why i am using this one now i will say and here you can see icon is created and now after that just i will come to the css part okay and step by step i will start to write the css code so first of all body tag so inside this body tag i will write css is padding is zero and margin is also zero okay and color color i will write here white so this is the white color code and after that font size i will write the default font size is 16 pixel and now i will write the font family okay so font family here i will write that is j o s e a f i n and after that sans okay then comma here i will write sans Sorry. so this is the font family so here i have added the font family but i did not add the link of this font so inside this index.html file just inside the head tag means here i have to link the font family okay so this font family link i will provide in the description as well otherwise you can use any other font also so the link i have added here okay so this link and the svg i'll provide in the description and now i'll come to the css part again and just this page i will save so here you can see the font style is changed and the other font it's not displaying because here inside this body tag i have written the color is white okay so that's why it is not displaying because the background is also white okay so now here i will come to the index.html file again and my first class name is this one okay so i will copy this class and here just i will paste and this price main class here i will write padding so padding in top and bottom i will write 40 pixel and left and right i will write zero and now here i'll come again 
and those are the bootstrap class so here i will not write any css but this class is custom class i have written so i'll copy this class name and just i will come to the css page again and here i will paste this class and inside this price box class first of all here i will write the background color so background here the color name is radial gradient okay so now inside this parenthesis i will just define the color so first of all i will write ellipse okay it will make it round and at center this round will be in a center okay and now the color code i will write that is 5 f b 3 and f c okay and the color will start from 0 percent and after that comma and the next color code will be hashtag and after that double zero and eight nine double f okay and this color code will go up to 100 percent means it will start from zero okay and it will go up to 100 percent right so here just i will do save and after that here i will write border radius so border radius here zero top okay then right is zero and bottom is 15 pixel and left is also zero and padding padding is 45 pixel and after that 30 pixel means top and bottom is 45 and left and right is 30 pixel and here I will write the position. Position is relative and Z index is 1 and margin right. Margin right is 30 pixel and here margin bottom that is 60 pixel. Okay, it is done. So guys here I did one wrong that is just after center here i have to write comma and that's why color was not displaying okay so here now if i save and see now color is coming and now after that just here i will copy the same class okay and here just below i will paste and i will write after so instead of after you can write it before also right so after means this is the price box this blue color background is total price box okay so after means after this price box and before means before this price box okay so this after here i will write some css that is first of all content when we write after before so content is mandatory without content it will not reflect okay so z index is minus 2 because this after whatever i am writing the css though those will be bottom of this price box okay so that's why and now here i will write that is position is absolute and the background color so the background color you can write background color or background so here i will write the rgb color and first is zero color code means red is 0 rgba means red green and blue okay so 0 comma 137 comma and 255 and a for opacity so here i will like the opacity is 12 okay 0 0.12 and after that here i will like width is 100 percent and height is 100 percent width and height 100 percent means it will be the same like price box width and height okay and after that border radius border radius is 0 0 15 pixel and 0 means top right 0 bottom 15 and left also 0 okay and here i will like top and top is 30 pixel and left left is 30 pixel okay save so here you can see it's coming one shadow okay so this is the after and this one is done and now i will come to the index.html file again 
and after that here the class name is price head so i will copy this class okay so now here just i will paste so directly you can write the css property inside this class but this price heads class parent is this price box so i will just take this class as a reference and i will write here okay and now first of all i will write margin is bottom okay margin bottom will be that is 24 pixel and after that position is relative and then padding bottom padding bottom is 20 pixel okay and now here same way i will take the reference first this one okay and now i will write some before for this head tag okay so here i will write before and same way first here need to declare content because i already said this one content is blank okay and after that width width is 5 pixel and here left left is minus 30 pixel okay and after the top 0 and then height height is cal and then 100 percent minus 20 pixel and after that background color so background color here i will light the color code is has f e b 7 4 7 okay this is background color and after that here i will light position is absolute okay so see it is coming a line here just i will copy the same thing okay and here in the below i will paste but here instead of before here i will light the after okay so again first is content content i will keep it blank and after that here i will light position is absolute okay so position absolute and width is 100 percent and after that left left is 0 and bottom is 0 and here i will light height height is 1 pixel and background color so background here i will light white color code this is white color code and opacity i will add here 0 0.07 now save and see it's coming one underline okay just below this one it's coming one underline and after that here i will copy up to this first okay and now i will come to the index.html file so inside this price head here you can see the p tag so i will write the css for p tag so here i will write p and first i will change the font size so font size is 24 pixel and after that margin bottom margin bottom is that is 15 pixel okay and here after that line height line height is 1 and font weight is 600 okay so this one is done and now here i will come to the index.html file and here you can see the price so i will copy this price class and here i will paste so same way you can write directly price class or otherwise you can take this parent class reference also so i will take the parent class reference okay so now here line height is here one and after that padding bottom is 7 pixel and font size that is 14 pixel so here it is done and now here just i will copy this parent class first come to the index.html file and now i will add the css for those span tags so first is 
currency so just i copy it already and i will paste okay so same way just first i will copy all this class here twice okay here and just below here okay so now here you can see this is value so here just i will add dot value and after that duration so copy it and here i will paste this so first of all i will write the css for currency okay so here i will write vertically align is top okay and font size so font size is 22 pixel and after that font weight that is 700 so this one is done and now i will add the css for value so here font size that is 42 pixel okay see it is increased the size and after that here font weight that is again 700 okay and for this one here i will copy this font to it and instead of 700 just i will make it 600 okay now here i will just copy this parent class again and paste here i will come to the index.html and now here you can see this is price body so just i will add the css for this one so price body so first of all margin bottom is 30 pixel and after that position is relative and then padding bottom that is 8 pixel this one is done and now just i will write the css for of for after tag of this body tag okay so after okay and here so again content so content i will keep it blank and after that background so background color here i will use white color code okay so earlier i had written only background but now here i have written the background color so let's see it is the same thing okay so this one is done okay and here i will write the position is absolute okay and after that width width is 100 percent and i will set the position so first is bottom okay bottom i will write that is zero and left also zero and after that height height is one pixel and after that here okay all are done so just i will save this one so see it is coming a uh, one underline okay so here i will change the opacity so opacity will be 0 0.07 so see now it is like that okay just below this one here this underline so this is done and now here i will copy this price box okay and i will just paste after that i will come index.html file and the class name next class name is this one so i will copy and i will paste and now the css will be that is margin bottom that is 16 pixel okay and after that here i will just copy this one okay and i will come here so here you can see these two class okay so here just i'll come here and i will copy this class name also here i will paste and now i will copy the first class this one and i will paste here so now i will add the css for this one so first of all the css property will be again margin bottom so here i will write margin bottom is 2 pixel okay and now just i will copy this one and i will come here 
and I will write the CSS for this UL tag. So here I will take the reference price body and now here I will write price body and UL. So the first of all here I will write padding is 0 and then margin is also 0 okay because this is the UL tag see here it's coming from the, the here okay means here is some space in the left side so that's why i have written padding and margin zero and after that list style type see here just before this you will tag here it's coming one dot sign so i want to remove this one so i will write none list style type none okay and after that margin margin bottom so margin bottom is 20 pixel okay this is done and now i will add the css for li tag okay so i'll paste an li because if i go to the index.html page so here you, you will and after that li so for li tag here i will write the css is margin bottom is four pixel okay and after that opacity opacity is that is 0 0.75 okay this one is done see it is now looking like this and now i will write the css for button okay so here if i come here so here i have written one anchor tag okay so this anchor tag here i will add one class class name i will add button okay now i will copy this class and just i will come here and here i will paste so the first will be padding so padding is 30, 20 pixel okay 20 pixel from top and bottom and 34 pixel from left and right and the color code so the color code will be 0 first hash and then 0 0 8 9 double f okay so this is the color code and after that hit phone size so font size i will add 12 pixel and here text transform so text transform is uppercase okay and now here i will write background color okay so background color i will add white color code and after that overflow is hidden okay and after that font weight font weight is 600 and border radius is 60 uh, 50 pixel i will add here border radius and line height that is one and border is none and outline is also none okay and display in line flex and after that align items is center and position is relative okay this is done and only jet index i have to add that is so jet index i will add here one okay so now i will copy this button and just here i will paste okay and now i will add the scissors for this svg so i will copy and i will paste here this svg so first i have to change the svg color so the svg color i will write here fill because for svg we have to write fill okay so the color code same of this one so i copied the color code from here and here i will write margin left so margin left is 10 pixel okay and now i'll copy this button and after that after okay so here same way first is content content will be blank and 
position position will be absolute okay z index will be minus 1 and left will be 0 and top will be also 0 and after that first width I will keep it 0 and a height I will make it 100% ok and the background color so background color here I will add this color code that is has and if f d 0 8 d ok this orange color code I will add here and I will add transition so transition is 0.3 s is in out means same when I will hover and hover out transition will be the same so is in and out in, in in time and out time it will be the same and now background here I will write radial gradient okay ellipse at center comma earlier I forgot to add comma so that's why color was not adding so now I added the comma and the color code is has if if z d 0 8 d and it will start from 0 percent then comma and then color code will be f d v and 1 4 3 it will go up to 100 percent okay so now here you cannot see any color 20 pixel say so see color is coming so i added zero that's why color is not displaying first of all okay so i will display the color when i will hover on this button so here just i will copy this button again and now here i will light the hover okay and on hover first of all color i will add white because now he, here when i am hovering on this button the color is coming black so here if i write on hover color white so when i will hover so color is now white so the background white and the color is white so text is not displaying so for that again i have to write this button then hover okay and then svg so when i will hover on the svg so that time first of all i will make the color of svg is also white and now i will copy okay and this after tag so when i will hover so that time i will make the width is 100 percent so the color will display orange okay so 100 percent okay so now if i save and hover so see color is displaying right so this is the price section i have created only for one so now i will come to the index.html file and here just this price box i will minimize and here see here this is call md4 only one so i will copy it for three times okay and just i will change the content so here now i will just copy the same thing and i will paste so save see one another is displaying so just here i will change the content like here instead of monthly plan here i will write something else okay so here just i will do one thing so just here price box okay so here inside this price box here i will create another class so d class okay here first of all i will write ribbon wrap okay this middle one i will make it recommended so that's why here i'm creating the another class so here i will write h4 and after that here i write recommended okay and this h4 class i will write ribbon 
okay so now here you cannot see anything okay so just i will write the css for this one and i will change this content also so instead of monthly here i will write yearly okay and here i will change the value that is 10.99 okay and this one you can write here or anything by the way i'm not going to change the content okay so first of all because content you can change by yourself also and the content also will be as per your project so that's why i'm not going to change the content at this time but here first of all i will write the css for this one okay so here this one inside this price box so i'll come to the css and i will go here this price box where it started so i will copy this price box and here just i will write this class ribbon wrap so i will copy this class and i will paste here okay now here first of all i will write position is absolute and width is 100% and height is also 100% okay and top will 0 and left will be 0 as well and z index so z index is minus 1 and overflow hidden okay so this is done and now here just i'll copy this one and here i will paste and i will come here and i will copy this class okay here i will paste and first of all background color so background will be has f f d 0 8 d 0 8 d okay and now here i will write again background so why i'm writing twice because now this time i will write gradial gradient okay radial gradient so sometime this gradient color doesn't support any browser so when it will not support so that time it will add this color only okay so that's why here first i written the background and now i am writing radial gradient color so now here ellipse at center comma and after that has f f and d 0 d 8 d okay and then 0 percent comma and now has f d b 1 4 3 and it will be go up to 100 percent and now position will be absolute and after that height is 50 pixel and here display is in line flex and after that justify content and align item i will light center okay so here justify content is center and align items is center okay now width is 200 pixel and top is 18 pixel and after that right right is minus 48 pixel and transform rotate that is 45 degree okay see it is coming like this okay so after that text transform text transform is uppercase okay because the text will be all up uppercase and font size here i will add 13 pixel and font weight i will 
write here 600 okay so this is done and it is looking like this so now i will increase this one see it is coming like this and i will increase this one okay so now here see it is coming twice okay and now i will just come here and copy this first grid because here in the second grid i have added the recommended thing but the last one it's not required okay so the first grid i will copy and just here i will paste okay so now here here you can change it daily plan i mean the content you can change it to daily daily plan and here you can write like uh, 2.99 okay and you can change this one but now i'm not going to change and just i will do save okay no need to save actually here it's all by default it will redirect so see it is coming like this okay so this is now for desktop version but now here i have to make it for the media query okay means some lower version also so now if i inspect and come to the lower version so you will find it will come perfectly see and the mobile viewport it is coming one by one because i made this grid 12 and now in the tab viewport see it is coming two in the top because six six and the last one it is coming here so it is not looking good if i bring it into middle see it will look good and the desktop viewport it is fine because it is coming three but in the tab viewport it is not coming perfectly so what i will do just i will come here and here just i will write that is call md okay offset is zero because in the desktop it is not required to anything but in call sm offset it will be three okay so now if i save and if i come here so see it is coming on middle okay so it is looking good actually so this way you can make it responsive too okay i hope you have enjoyed this video if you find this is helpful so please like this video and also subscribe my channel to get more update